Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a service control manager event ID error code 7001. So if it says the computer browser service depends on the server services which fail to start because of the following error, the dependency service or groups fail to start. So it should be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in services. Best result should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. So locate whatever the services that you're having the problem with. So for example, whatever service you're having the problem with, you just would double click on it. And you would select the dependencies tab. You would take note of whatever dependencies are listed under here. And again, let me just go ahead and find one here. So go ahead and locate dependencies. And then the service depends on the following system components. So for example, you can see what service we have listed under here. And you go to each one of these services that is listed here. You take note of them. And then you would go down in the list and make sure that they are set to automatic and that they are turned on. So you make sure it's running and make sure it's set to automatic. Again, that's just this one example. You make sure all of them are turned on. And that's probably pretty much about it, honestly. There's really not too much more to say. Uh, one more thing I would definitely, regardless of what dependencies show up, would be to check the net TCP port sharing service. So let's go to, to net. So I'm just going to type in NET. So net TCP port sharing service. Double click on it. You're going to go ahead and set start type to automatic, and then you're going to select apply and select the start option to start the service. Then select OK. And once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Should be pretty straightforward. And hope that was able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.